Hello? <sighs> Darling, let me fix it up here. How is? Long time no see. Well, not really long time. About a week and a half, two weeks. It's been a very weird and long two weeks. Uh, we'll get into that in a separate video if if we want to talk about it. But on another note, we have another lockdown in Ireland, which means no vlog. Well, not no vlogs, but no real gym stuff or fitness stuff is going to happen. So I said I'm going to open up lockdown 2.0. With a QA, and and I know what you're thinking, Ganzo, you're sitting on the floor, why don't you sit on the couch? I'm Ganzo Fitness, I do things backwards, okay? So, I put up on my Instagram a little Q&A, so if you missed out on it and you wanted to ask me some questions, you need to follow me on Instagram, link in the description. There's no other way to go for it other than to just go for it, so let's get into it. Also, I don't know if you can hear the wind from the fireplace here. We're in the middle of Storm Aiden, which means I can't train out the back either, and I don't like training in my house. So, on top of a lockdown, we have a Storm too. Love it. Love it. Right, where are these questions? Oh, here they are. Right, question one. Any women on the scene yet? I don't know what it is about every q and I always get asked about my love life. Uh, the honest answer is no, I don't think so, and if I do, I'm unaware of it, so I don't know what it is. I actually think I figured out why I'm so single. Right, one, there's a pandemic going on, right? That doesn't help the situation. Two, I'm much better at talking to people in person than I am over text. Like, anyone who has ever, like, DM'd me on Instagram, like, I'm never, like, rude about it, but I'm just like, hey, what's up, cool, how are you? I'm not great at creating conversation over text, I'm just not one of these people. So like, but in person, I'll, I'll chat the ears off anybody, like I won't shut up. So I think the key for me is if I'm going to meet someone, it's going to be more of a natural way. You're going to end up talking to them more than you are. Like, like I've never been on Tinder or Bumble or any dating app ever. Because I'm just not good at swipe. I don't want to be like, yeah, I swipe right and slid into the DMs. That's not like... So I think that's kind of a big part of the reason why I'm single. But I don't know why I get asked every thing. But anyways, no, no women on the scene yet. Uh, who inspired you to create a YouTube platform? Right, this can be this can be story time with Gans on now, right? Because this happens once every Q and A. So what happened was, as I started out, I was like, is, is Snap vlogging a thing? So like when Snapchat was kind of not big, but when Snapchat was a really good thing, like Snapchat's still a thing but it's not like as big as what it was I think it's starting to die out a little bit but I would like vlog my days and vlog my food and upload them onto my snapchat stories and I'd just start getting people to like follow me and stuff I would snapchat my workouts and Wheelo, the good man that he is just turned around to me one day and he's like why don't you just start a YouTube channel he's like you're basically doing it anyways just without editing it and uploading it to YouTube and I was like hmm so I actually jumped into like one or two of his videos well, actually, I said no a couple of times, and he kind of forced me into it. So, <clears throat> I ended up being in one of his videos, or he used me as, like, for a gym edit slash vlog thing. That's still up on YouTube today. I had no... Did I have a beard? I think I did have a beard, and then I ended up shaving off. But anyways, I jumped into that. I kind of liked it. I was jumping in and out of his videos then for a couple of months. And then I was just like, yeah, I actually kind of like this. I bit the bullet and then started a YouTube video. So I actually originally started on Snapchat. And then it kind of just went from there. So, yeah. Favourite style of training? Hypertrophy, strength or something else? I don't know what my favourite style would be. I can tell you what it's not, and that's cardio. I don't like running. And you think of these skinny little legs... That I'd be quite good at. Somebody told me I had running legs on there. I was like, I really don't have running legs. So, I don't know, man. Because I've been kind of mixing it up lately. Um, and and you'll see that with my next program that I'm going to run everybody through. It's kind of a mixture of everything. Because uh, it, it used to be just pure hypertrophy. It used to be just pure hypertrophy. And then Matty kind of, not forced me, but he like roped me into doing powerlifting. Which I like now. When I get to do it, not in lockdowns, but when I get to do it, so I kind of like strength training, I like hypertrophy, I like 
I like everything except cardio. But I'm not against car people doing cardio. If you want to do it, I just don't do it. So, honest answer is a mixture of everything, really. Nike or New Balance? Can you choose... Oh, I'm on the, slightly on the dyslexic and the thing, so sometimes reading is not my strongest suit. Uh, can you can choose different things, but mainly which brand you copy? Ooh, Nike probably. Nike, yeah. Uh, I'm not wearing... No, I'm wearing Under Armour now. Uh, so, Nike probably. Nothing against New Balance. I like New Balance. I only found out recently that New Balance are a company from Boston. Should have known that considering I support Liverpool and they like one of the Liverpool owners are from Boston, but two they sponsored us for years. So I'm gonna say Nike one because they sponsor Liverpool now, but two, if I was to go through all my wardrobe, I can promise you, I can promise you I have a lot more Nike gear than I do New Balance. I probably have a couple of New Balance shorts and maybe uh like a fleece top. I call them PT tops, because you only see PTs are in them. So I'm gonna say Nike. Uh, if you had to choose one and only one, what are you giving up? Sweatshirts or shorts? You're done dirty. Ahem. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, you know what? But because of the way I'm dressed now, I'm going to say I would give up sweatshirts. And the reason for that is because if you were to take sweatshirts away from me, but I can still wear hoodies, and I mean pullover hoodies, not the zip-up hoodies, because I don't know who wears those. Fucking perverts wear those. Um, but I, I would choose giving up sweatshirts because I can still wear hoodies so and like fleece tops and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool to me. Um, where I genuinely don't really like, as, as small as my calves are, I hate wearing bottoms. I don't know what it is. I just, I used to be non-stop out of them and now I'm just kind of gone into a shorts phase the last like two years. Is it a phase though if it's over two years? I don't know. Logic or Eminem and why? <laughs> you take it. The same person asked this. Asked the um, the sweatshirts and shorts. And if anything, you've done me more dirty with this one than you did with the Logic or Eminem. Now there's going to be some people behind their keyboard going, Oh my god, you're actually going to put them in the same category. And like, oh, I'm so much better. And you're right, M um, is so much better. And that's probably why I would choose Eminem. But people have to realise my love for Logic is... Like, Logic is in my top five of all time, and I don't give a shit what anyone says. That's, it's my top five of all time, so. M is probably the GOAT, in my opinion, and he's definitely, in my opinion, the GOAT rapper, and that's not a shot like Tupac or anything, but M is just, he's still owning the game, man. And he's like 40 odd, do you know what I mean? And he's been doing this since like 97, so he's been doing it over 20 years. So, and I've been listening to Eminem since the, my arse was the size of a shirt button, like, do you know what I mean? Literally, since it came out of the room, I've been listening to Eminem, so. I'm gonna say M, um, but Logic is, like, literally a very close second, and if he's not second, he's definitely third. And there's nobody else I'm putting above him, so. There. And uh, least favourite exercise. I don't have a least favourite exercise, I don't think. Because I don't do it. So it's probably not at the fresh, like at the forefront of my brain right now. Because I literally just picked up the camera this morning after I put the Q&A thing last night. I was like, let's do this. I haven't seen the questions, I haven't thought about any of them. So I don't think I have a least favourite exercise. Um, Charlie's on the phone, I wonder if he's can hear. If you do, I'm not editing it out. But my least favourite exercise would be... Cat raises. Because they don't make my calves grow, even if I do them. Even if I do them. I remember there was actually a time, like three years ago, where, like, because I programmed calves into a program where they rest and they recover and you stretch them and you do all this and that. But then they weren't growing, so I was like, right, I'm going to overload these motherfuckers. And I did like four sets of 25 reps every day, and they still haven't grown. So that's actually Shirley's fault. If you've ever seen the man's legs, you'll know what's up. There was more somewhere, where are they? Oh yes. Right, we're on the last couple. <clears throat> you and Paul need to do another video together. Yeah. Take a guess who wants that. Yes, Paul, we do need to do another video together. Once lockdown is over, and I think it's over in December, I do want to head up to Dublin, because I haven't been to Dublin since February. 
when it was me and Wheeler's birthday and we went up to Bellator. That was the last time. That was actually the last time I left Kildare, the county. So, yeah, I'm due a trip up to Dublin. I'll be doing it. I'll be going soon. <clears throat> what is worse about being on low calories? Uh, str strength in first. Blah. Strength fluctuations or mood swings? I don't really get mood swings. Um, and if I do, I actually kind of notice it. I go kind of quiet. I don't like to speak when I'm angry. So, or if I'm like getting into a, like a bitchy humour. I just don't speak, so I just leave the room. So, I don't take it out on anybody. Because, if you think of it right, if I'm cutting, which is what I'm trying to do now, but lockdown's kind of fucking me over. But I'm still getting in. But if I'm like cutting, I chose to cut. So I, if I get into a mood, I can't be taking that out on whoever. Do you know what I mean? I can't be taking that out on the lads. I can't be taking that out on my ma, my sister. I can't be taking that out on anyone because I chose to do it. Uh, strength fluctuations really piss me off. I will say that. So I'm going to say strength fluctuations because even like right before lockdown hit, I was single arm rolling 45 kilo dumbbells. And I feel like if I was to do them like a week or two later, they would be like lifting a ton off the floor. But then I could go back to them again and be fine. So, uh, strength fluctuations can kind of feck me up. But like strength fluctuates anyways, but it is more evident when, um, when you're cutting, which is not sound right. And the final question, who is your favourite cousin? I would have to say that Aaron one is quite funny. Aaron... Because you asked the question, I'm going to have to say you. Okay? Maybe I don't have to say you. You are kind of funny. Uh, she also is like... 13, maybe 14. And she choked me out. She does MMA. She choked me out. I let her do it, but I genuinely think she can choke me out. So, her. We're going to say her. Because if I don't say her, she could choke me out again. Uh, but that's going to do it for the Q&A, guys. If you have, and I'm going to put this up on Instagram as well. So make sure to follow me there, but... Even if you don't and you want to see particular videos over lockdown, man, comment it down below or either hit me up on Instagram because I am looking for content to do. Content is quite difficult to kind of get through when, like, for this, uh, when you're on like lockdowns and stuff because you're only allowed five kilometers from your gaff. So it's not ideal. It's not ideal. So. Any uh, videos, ideas, guys, I can do, please let me know. I will try my best to do them. And here's me thinking, the, vid the phone won't go off. One video. The back to that in a second. Uh, so, yeah, any video idea, guys, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the q and I hope you guys laughed, all that kind of good stuff. Until the next one, though, guys, trust the process. We're out here. <coughs> we'll see you later.